U.S. officials say they foiled a terror attack in this country with the arrest of a 20-year-old Saudi student. He came to the U.S. to study chemical engineering, but they say he was buying chemicals to engineer weapons of mass destruction. And his targets may have included a former president. Bob Orr is our justice correspondent. Bob, how far along was this plot? Well, Katie, I have to tell you, this was a pretty close call. Sources say the suspect was only one chemical away from having the materials he needed for a real bomb. He'd already researched targets, and the FBI knew nothing at all about him until the phone rang. Khalid Aliyem Aldasari was not on any law enforcement radar until just three weeks ago when this North Carolina chemical supplier called the FBI. Aldasari was trying to buy phenol, a key chemical in homemade explosives. He had used his own name, address, and phone number. That led the FBI to this Lubbock, Texas apartment building and the 20-year-old Saudi-born student, who officials say is a classic lone wolf jihadist. Secret searches of Adesari's apartment revealed evidence of a nearly complete bomb plot, possibly targeting dams, former soldiers who spent time at the Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq, the Dallas home of former President George W. Bush, and locations in New York. We're not surprised that it's New York. New York is seen as the capital of the world. Um, we know that we're at the top of the terrorist target list. So that's our operating assumption that New York is every day a, a target for terrorists. The searches turned up wiring, chemical flasks, and a clock all bought from Amazon.com. A hazmat suit purchased on eBay, plus 30 liters of nitric acid and three gallons of sulfuric acid. Nitric acid and sulfuric acid, when combined with phenol, can produce a powerful explosive called TNP. But Aldasari never got that last ingredient, phenol. The FBI also found more evidence detailing his apparent terrorist aspirations. On his blog last March, Aldasari wrote in Arabic, Only gratification from Allah is what I want. Grant me martyrdom for your sake and make jihad easy for me. In a private journal, he wrote, after mastering the English language, learning how to build explosives, it is time for jihad. Now, sources tell us there's no evidence at all that Al-Asari is connected to any terror group. But he claims that 9-11 and speeches by bin Laden did inspire him to begin dreaming about carrying out some kind of attack in America. Katie? Bob, we're in Washington tonight, Bob. Thank you.